All right. So our scam of the week, Julie, is with spring cleaning here and coming in the next couple weeks and months, people are going to start taking some of their useful items that they get out of spring storage or whatever, spring cleaning, and saying, you know what, I could sell this. And they're going to go to their normal sites to sell things. And that's where scams are ripe. Tell me this story about the woman in Middleton, Wisconsin, who posted a listing for a squish mellow toy on Facebook Marketplace. I, I don't even know what a yeah. squish yeah. mellow toy is. It sounds like a dog toy <laughs> that I was can't be ask. worth more than $6. Right. So, so they're geez, actually well, like, yeah, go can ahead. I, can I explain the Squishmallow? Cause I had to look this up too. I also didn't know what it was, but it's oh, basically a, a mix between a stuffed animal and a pillow would be the best way to describe it. It does look like an animal, but it's kind of more pillow shaped, very rounded looking. Apparently they're all the rage. Okay. So they're like limited edition collectibles that have some value. It's a hundred dollars so. a target. Yeah, some of them are $100. Some of them you can get for $20. bucks. i am very unclear on what makes it a particular valuable one, but some okay. of them are that's, very expensive. That's what it is. Okay, so it's not a dirty used uh, dog toy. A squish, no. mellow toy. <laughs> a squish mellow toy is actually uh, something that costs 100 bucks new and may cost more if it's a rare version. I'm guessing there's different versions, you know. The pink alien and the, the the blue squid. Oh, I do that's that's out of print. Those cost more. Okay, fine. So a woman pays a th writes a check for a thousand dollars over the asking price on Facebook Marketplace, and the woman getting the money and selling the toy cashes the check and says, "But I'm going to send you back the money." Yeah, that's right. Because of course she didn't feel okay keeping that extra money so she was going to when she met up with the buyer to exchange the toy she was going to give her the the money that she paid extra assuming it was just an accident or whatever it was well then the buyer kept coming up with all these excuses of why they can't meet up so the, she said maybe I, I have my daughter's wedding i'm out of town there's all these excuses and then she said i'll even give you extra money because of the delay i feel bad that we're having a hard time meeting up so i'll give you an extra 70 bucks or whatever it is because of this delay and the rigmarole of the whole thing right okay pause right there this sounds too good to be true from the seller standpoint you've sold a toy you've taken in more money by a factor of hundreds of dollars right. and now the buyer's like i'll give you even more money on top of the more money what's going on here what where's the trap let's hear the trap so the seller went ahead and she tried to cash the check through mobile deposit to, to get the money. And luckily her bank caught this, but it was a fake, just completely fake check, a counterfeit check. And this is a common, it's called a fake check or overpayment scam where a buyer will pay over the amount of money. And the goal is to get you to cash the check and quickly get the money back after you cash the check so oh. that you can take the money. But then you find out however many days later, if your bank doesn't catch it right away, they will catch it eventually and the check had actually bounced. So now not only are you out the item potentially, but you're also out all the money, not only what you were going to, you know, pay or get somebody to pay for the item, but also whatever they paid over the, wow. that amount. And sometimes a return check fee from your bank. Well, wow. Right. Exactly. Now, okay, this is a devious, devious ploy, devious scam. You better be on the alert for it. Of course, if it was me, I would say a check. I'm sorry, little house on the prairie. It's 2022. We don't take checks here. <laughs> but some Venmo people me, still bro, do or just paypal me just hey pal me yeah hey pal me paypal i'd take hey pal hey pal at least doesn't have the kind of fraud potential just has the ghosting potential so this is a check born scam watch out Right. It's usually it's almost always a check in this case, um, because that's the easiest way that you can get somebody to to cash the money and and overpay in that way. So like you said, Zabe, don't believe offers that are too good to be true when it starts to sound fishy. Um, you know, just just give up. And another big tip here is do not ship an item before you receive payment. So wait until you receive payment. Payment clears the bank and then ship the item. How would you say a 
thousand dollars over the correct price. How would you sell that as an honest mistake? That's a good get, question. Get an extra zero. <laughs> that could be, yeah. Would that be your excuse, Josh? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. A, an extra zero. I wasn't thinking. I rushed that. I'm so sorry. I clearly I can't pay that much. Have you yes. tried this before, Josh? No. <laughs> but in a check, though, you have to write it out long form in addition to writing the number. So you would have to say one squish mellow toy, one thousand two hundred and ten dollars and xx one hundred cents. Wait a minute, I'm not paying that much for the squish mellow toy. A ton of people texting in, by the way, about Eddie from Styles. My wife and daughter have four of them each. Of these the squish, squish mellows. mellows. Kyle from Anyone? West Dallas asked if there was a Princess Diana Squishmallow because that one would probably be worth a little bit more. <laughs> Good call back like to Beanie, Beanie Baby. Yeah. All right, Julie, mm. you're doing God's work for the Better Business Bureau of Wisconsin. Watch out for the fake check overpayment scam. We'll talk to you next week. All right. Thanks, guys.